Hello, 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 and welcome back again, one and all. I am Pete, aka Crimson, and hope you are all well today. In fact, hang on. This isn't a vanity thing, this is purely a comfort thing. I think I need to get better headphones, because without hair, they do kind of dig into my skull eventually. Maybe lighter headphones? Anyway, what is up? We are, of course, back in it with uh, Pokemon Heart Gold, Nuzlocke. We're just going to be doing some grinding today. Um... Or the kind of tired stream. And we still have some levels to attain all round. So, we are looking at, as a basis, Salad Fork and Coraline 30. That's, that's where we want to start. Uh, we don't want to take Fruit Shoot with us, of course. But Sean, Crosswave, and Scarjo all in dire need of some XP. I'm not even sure where we are. Mahogany. Mahogany. Who is that? S someone in the... Dragon Ball Bridge, right? Anyway. Don't mind me. So there's... Souvenir shop. Sure, you were meant to be telling us that. What's he got? Tiny mushroom, Pokeball, potion. Is tiny mushroom actually worth it? I don't think so, right? Feels like a trick. Alright, not trusting that guy. Um now question is. Do we want to go up this way yet? I don't know if there's trainers or anything. Um, or any idea what levels we'll be facing. I think. Yeah, I want to go back a bit. And I guess we're fighting more of the, uh, what you call it? Goldines. And Sea Kings. Sean can hold his own, theoretically. Actually, I remember he might not have very good defense. That works, though. That definitely works. Best defense is indeed a good offense. Oh, you're super dead. No XP though, I'd assume. Double 12. 100 maybe if we're lucky. Okay. Goldine's alright XP either way, I guess. Go figure. I don't think we're one-shotting this one. Where's the Sea Kings at? don't resist water. But it doesn't do a lot against us. Okay. Two hits, two hit. of a heal item. Mm. We've got potions, I think. What are we looking at? Uh, three. Maybe I go and buy some potions off the shady guy after all? 
in a bit. Can't even remember who was going to replace Fruit Shoot. We had decided. Odds on a one shot. 50 50. That ah, did it, okay. This is doing alright. At least while we're while we're leveling. Perfect type for the scenario. Keep Adam Sean. Just realized Sean won't really be a sheep for much longer. Oh well. It's fine. We'll remember his legacy. When he was once a fluffy boy. I don't think this is a one shot. So I think what I am going to do is. <clears throat> Thunder wave it up. Uh, okay. That's fine. Now we get to go first. And hopefully it loses the coin toss. It doesn't even get another turn. Oh, it was a. Oh, crit. Well, we'll never know now. There's a pile of XP. I think we're alright. Yeah, okay. I think what I am going to do though... Perfect. Okay. Ooh, crit. All right. <gasps> Does Flail get stronger? Hello? G general, general cheers. Hello, welcome to the channel. Nice to meet you. How's it going? Yeah, graveyard's a little bit stacked. Things have happened. This is what happens when you leave me unsupervised. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely blaming this on you. Scapegoating. How's it going? Uh, speaking of, before I get distracted and forget that we kind of need to do a little bit of this. I did no such thing. You can thank, I want to say Whitney and a Hitmonchan, mainly the Hitmonchan. Uh, that was ridiculous. I went in there and I think we were all at max around level 25, some in high teens and it was level 27. And I'm like, great, this thing knows a fighting move. A fire move, an ice move, and a lightning electric move. Um, and thus, a lot of people bit the dust. I'll tell you what, though. I'll tell you what, though. Graveler, self-destruct, save the day, no wipe. That's pretty much the only reason Salad Fork is still with us. Um, yeah. Yeah. Speaking of, I 
So I'm kind of honestly playing with the idea of actually making Inferno, ironically, in, into the psychic one. Is it Espeon or Umbreon? Umbreon's dark right, but I probably, no, nah, I'll resist. Like Tuesday or Wednesday, we'll be able to get a Firestone, so we can wait. I mean... Here's the thing, we had the chance at a Magma, uh, and it ran away. If we got it, I would have quite happily made it an Espeon and both would have been on our team. We're not going to be able to fully evolve either of these, but I think you're coming with us for now. over there. Crosswave technically lives. Sure. Uh, I don't need to do that, do I? They heal in the box. Nothing, nothing happened. Goldie. Alright, we're safe. Should still one shot the level 18, I'm gonna guess, or hope. More to the point. Shh. going until we can't. I do wish Sean was a little bit more tanky, but a bit of offense on our side isn't going to hurt either. Um. <clears throat> Excuse me. I mean, kind of had to. Kind of had to. Also, I was tired of running out of ideas. The chat was feeling unhelpful. <clears throat> 19. Do we still one shot? The problem is it's really hard to turn the sound down for this. Also, I may have become of the opinion that song request would be kind of ass. I don't know, maybe. Or I could at least turn some music on. I'm trying to think what's the easiest way. Because I looked to see if we could turn music off in the game, but Pokemon doesn't offer such in-depth sound options. Um, I guess DS doesn't really give you the option to play your own music on it. Or does it? I don't know. I don't know, I'm also just kind of tired and Pokemon music just goes straight over me, so it's nice to just zone out. I still need to catch up and see the trailers as well from the Game Awards show, whatever, MacGuffin. I had no intention of watching the actual Game Awards. Um, I hear Sekiro won Game of the Year and DMC5 won something, but... Yeah. DMC5 somehow didn't get best soundtrack, I gather. I don't know. You voted for Sekiro. I voted DMC5. For everything. Hells yeah. Uh, 
I mean... Did I fill it in on the thing? No. No, because I really just do not care about the Game Awards or the Steam Awards or any of them. Um, as with pretty much every award show in existence, it all boils down to a popular popularity contest. And thus, this is, is irrelevant to the nature of the actual quality of the thing. Right, Thundershock, 40, 100. Charge. Oh, right, boost the next electric. Also raises special defense. Well, I guess at the very least we lose growl. We'll keep tackle just for the sake of variety. Emergency, I don't know. Emergency and it's Sean versus a Geodude for some reason. Uh, you never know, it might happen. But DMC5 is almost certainly my game of the year either way. In my list. Which is the only list that actually matters. So, fuck, is it Jeff Keighley? Um, the entire thing's just so he can hang around with people. Although I can't help but notice all the photographers love the fact that Norman Reedus was there minus his funky fetus. I'm fine. I'm just tired. Not necessarily bad tired, just... I don't know. It's a bit spacey, maybe. How about you? Are you alright? How's your date? Are you married yet? Have you been to Gretna? You did remember to wear the entire body condom right, just as the ultra form of protection. Oh god. Very long story. Oh, go on. I've got time. I've got time. Good relaxed or bad relaxed? Relaxed like you can comfortably fart in front of each other? Okay, good relaxed then. So you can fart in front of each other. Cool. Alright. This, if only Pokemon worked like Undertale, so eventually you'd genocide the entire species of Pokemon, and then you could be the only one left with that type of Pokemon. Wouldn't that be a metal version if, if they did that? They wouldn't. They never would. Of course they wouldn't. They'd never, they'd never be allowed. But get a bug lantern and throw it in the water. Oh, you mean the bug zapper and MacGuffin? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, for fuck's sake. Or just a car battery. Alright, I'm confused and you're paralyzed. We're all losers here. Yeah, you're the biggest loser. Wait, is that... That is the right way around on stream. Awesome. Perfect. Never finished with dynamite. I've fished with dynamite. Me? No, I've never fished full stop, in fact. Don't hit yourself. Fuck you. How's it going anyway, killing? Already confused, Biatch. Tackle. Tired, you and me both. You and me both. The sleepy crew today. In fact. There we go. We're even updating the title. Oh, I didn't even do it right. 
I put we sleep crew today. We sleepy crew today. There we go. Nobody dead yet today. That's mainly just because we're grinding though. And we're grinding <clears throat> electric type versus goldines. We have to try pretty hard to die. <laughs> so we're alright. We've already gone up three levels. In like 20 minutes. So that's not too bad. Slow, but not too slow. And every now and then we'll get like a level 20 something seeking. Gives us a nice bump. If the tentacles and crawls weren't, weren't so annoying to fight, then I'd go back and grind against them and the Mantines because they're more efficient for XP. But they're just annoying. This. Damn it! I knew that was coming. Hey! Did you redeem the MacGuffin? It doesn't tell me when you do that. I turn the cost down to make them more available. I think they only work on this channel for a day when you spend the points on them, but... Eventually, there's Pokemon flutes for every affliction, right? So you don't need to keep carrying. So you don't need to keep carrying all the items for the healing of the statuses and one of them that you eventually get a confused flute or whatever. Fuck's sake. You got 1.4k apparently. It's pretty epic. I mean, it accrues, I think it's like 220 an hour or something. Um, does this, this does not say how many hours watched or anything interesting like that yet. Oh, there's probably somewhere actually. Created dashboard's got a lot of shit. I think. I'm so tempted to max potion. Fifty should be enough, right? Right? I was trying to think how much we were on before. Will you fuck off with the confusion? I'll do it myself, Sean. Sean. I'm gonna have to go back to mom and get some money, aren't I? And just go buy a shit ton of potions. John Wick Fortnite L? John Wick was in Fortnite at one point, right? Am I might imagine that? Anyway, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Yeah, I don't have much Fortnite knowledge, but I feel like that was a tie-in. Aren't they currently doing a Star Wars one? Ready for, I would guess, the Star Wars. Is that out now? Is it coming out? What's my team? Um, I will show you right after this fight is over. Currently back to an alright place, but we're still kind of improvising. Thanks to having a few too many deaths. And we seem to be getting trolled by this Goldine in particular right now. But I refuse to switch out. I'm a stubborn ass. Well, you just not. Oh, for. I swear. Just remove confusion from the game. There we go. Over. Better be over. Perfect. Not the greatest defense, but we'll make do. This is what we are looking at right now. I'm still not sure about Frankie. Particularly seeing as we can't evolve her. It is funny that post, uh, post like, mass wipe events, um, we've ended up with a majoritively female team. And I think it was almost entirely male before. Not planned in any way, shape or form, of course. How it turns out. 
think male Pokemon are slightly more common, I think. But I really... You just don't have... favorite Pokemon it's probably got to be the really boring option of Charizard um, despite it not technically being a dragon it is the most dra draconic at least in Gen 1 which is the one I'm most familiar with but there are quite a few others I like I really like Tyranitar um, Caesar a lot of Gen 1 Gen 2 stuff but mainly just because those are the ones I know Torchic and Blaziken are pretty rad, though. There'd be a lot of fire types if I had to list everyone I liked. What about you? What about you? <sighs> Who's your dream team? Love Disc. I actually think I know that one. Yeah. It's like a... Is it a fish? But it looks like a pink love heart. Wait, is that your favourite cheers? What's yours? Killing you unsure. Greninja. Greninja's a solid choice. Um, I was pretty much ninja'd out at that point, thanks to Naruto. Um, but, yeah, Greninja's pretty rad. Which gen is that? It's not Gen 3, is it? What, what what are the fun ones that we'll get to encounter in Gen 3? Because I know 1 and 2 pretty well. After that, I'm going to be like... Pass. Like, so much of it. Right, I'm having to double check because I'm indeed still very sleepy and forgetting if we needed to heal or anything. I'm going to have to fly somewhere with a proper store soon though. We could at least buy some potions. Next time we need to heal, I'll go, go do that. If I remember. Remind me. Uh, will this kill? Want me to find out. Can get Charmander after beating Red? Really? Is that like post-post game though? Because once we've done like Elite Four stuff, we're not necessarily gonna. I don't know, I don't know. Depends if there's anything worth doing there, really. So getting a Charmander at the very end of the game is somewhat redundant. Without the ability to trade it forwards at the very least. Now, casually, playing this not as a Nuzlocke, I'd be very happy to know that. After you beat all of the Kanto gyms, okay. Is Red like the final opponent after all the Kanto? Because I thought you went back and did the Elite Four again, right? And they're stronger? Am I imagining this? Maybe. Don't you even start. Cheers, you may appreciate this. It turns out there's a different Logitech software for my webcam that I've downloaded and am now running, which means that it will stay focused and in the focus that I pick. Hooray, right? Oh. Where did... Holy shit. That was terrifying. Okay, so I just learned something. There's a little OBS icon that runs in, in the 
tasked in the tray at the bottom, the system tray at the bottom right windows. And I accidentally clicked on it and it minimized OBS to the system tray. And I was like, did that just stop everything? Because that would be the most bullshit one click thing to add into a program ever. They do get stronger. Lance has a salamance. Okay. Not necessarily looking for... Like, obviously, I've played Pokemon Gold before, but not necessarily looking for huge spoilers. Keeping some surprise. It's not to say I'm not looking up like, when I when Pokemon I have involved in their moves, but... Although, that being said, I think, I think most of us know I'm going to forget that bit of information by the time I get there anyway. And for sure, by the time I get there the second time. And also, as I say, I'm not sure what a Salamance is. Is it like the blue long thing with the, the, the long neck and the long tail, the four legs and like red wings? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah. Does anyone know if I'm... S oh, no, never mind, actually. Right. I think somebody already told us yesterday that Big Roy may well be about to turn up soon and we'll have a full team who, who's powerful and it could give us some trouble if, if we're not careful and just wander forwards. So let's avoid just wandering forwards. Off work today, then cheers. What do you work? What, what, what do people have off over the 25th? I get like the day. Actually, I think I get the 24th and 25th off. Oof. Unlucky getting roped into the weekends after all. When are you off? Tuesday off. Tuesday and Sunday, I think, this week. Well, week coming. Wait, what day is it? It's Tuesday, Sunday, right? Today. Sunday? Yes, yeah, Sunday. It's one of those weeks. Well, December's always kind of one of those months. Ooh. Get Christmas Day and Boxing Day. Yeah, I'm in Boxing Day, but never have to work that long people are going to get what I can be bothered to make and that's about it. Um, do you get extra money or anything for that at least? I know there's like three people from our place in on Christmas Day even though for sure oh, she has said it on the 25th. Not at all. Wait, you requested to be working the weekends then, or you, requ you requested Christmas Day and Boxing, uh, 25th and 26th? God damn it. Oh, oh, here we go. Tyranitar, Lux Raid, Sidui, Slowbro, Slash King. I know those. I do like Slow King. Slow King's pretty cool. Slow, Slow Bro's alright. Slow King's pretty boss. Delphox. Don't know that one. But I'm glad I'm glad we've got a fellow Tyranitar fan. I'm still holding out that we'll get one. Um, it will immediately gain pride of place on the team. Or a Houndoom. Houndour. Which one's the puppy? Houndour? It's gotta be the Dower, right? Doom's gotta be the Evolved. Also, we're level 27, so we're getting there. Honestly, I think, I feel like being being half asleep is the best way to do grindy stuff like this. Because you're barely paying attention. Doom has horns. Do Doom, Doom is the evolution then. Okay, makes sense. Yeah, I would, I would quite like one of those. 
Although, aren't I more likely to find them at night? Maybe that's the problem. I think night starts at 5pm in game? I need to find some day I can play later. Maybe, maybe tomorrow actually. Wouldn't have to play much after 5. I'd just have to save a route or two. Okay. I think we've caught, or at least encountered, on every route we've passed so far. Um, even finally on the one below Ecritique. Because Entei, I think it was Entei, decided to turn up. Um, which obviously we weren't going to catch. I threw I threw a fastball because it would have been a legal catch by the Nuzlocke rules had it worked. Um, if only we had the Master Ball right, we could have legitimately used it and had a Legendary. Um, because we've never had a rule against it, it's just the chances of it being the first Pokemon we encounter in an area. And successfully ca encountering, uh, kill capturing even it. Are like almost zero. Barring potentially messing around with repels, which I have considered. I have considered. But ultimately doesn't seem in the spirit. Also very expensive in repels, probably. You're right, it does lose its ears. I never really noticed that, although I imagine uh, more than anything else, that's just a purely artistic thing of trying to get ears and horns to work together um, and be clear on a small sprite or a small, small image generally. Like they're all very basic, simplistic designs for a reason, particularly the older ones, big blocky shapes. Clearly defined colours. Mr. Martinson, where did where do you download this game? Um, I honestly can't remember, but if you Google Pokemon and Reddit, you'll probably get the same answer that I did, because I'm fairly sure that's all I did. Nowadays, when I Google things and it's something technical, I just put the word Reddit in there, and I generally get a much better response from a human being on Reddit than somebody writing a fucking article. But if I recall, there's somebody somebody on a Pokemon Reddit somewhere who just has a Google Drive with all the Pokemon games in. Because no matter how hard you try Nintendo, you can't take shit off the internet. Which I constantly point out as a word of warning to people when they put stuff on there in the first place. It's a lot easier to put something on the internet and take it off. Appreciate it. Enjoy your Pokemons. I also kind of want a new headset, even though I don't need one, to get rid of this, because I don't need it now. Cheers, deciding to take literally all of the credit despite doing literally none of the work. <laughs> What's up, Huey? Good. Yep, great polywell. Find Hound Hour on Route 7 at night. That'll be in Kanto, right? Um, also at the Safari Zone near Siamwood. We've done Safari Zone. Um, in the Discord, there's a little map. We did the six available zones like the squares um we caught on half of them first first zone magma runs away i'm like thanks yeah I've always been hoping for a fire type never get them but yeah once you've completed two challenges for balba oh wait geo dude then catch sandshu yeah we did the geo dude and we immediately released it we counted that as just a quest thing and you have the national decks okay Oh, is it the National Dex that unlocks that? Because, yeah, that'll give us... It's 3x3 three three total, right? And we've, we've done 2x3, so we've done 6 of them. There's 3 more blocks we could theoretically get there. Um, but anyway, it will appear in the Savannah area once you have 4 forest items placed. I was understanding it and then it got to the end and I'm just like, okay. Smile and nod. Yes. Right, 
us. Let's go get some money, buy a ton of healing items. Should we just get all of our money from Mom? She'll say more. Probably. We need some XP. We need to round out the team and... Aside from continuing with, with the actual, like, main story per se, but the main through line. I really just, I just want that Firestone. I think, if I recall, we agreed we could get Inferno up to, like, level 30-something. Before missing out, because it gets Fire Fang in the 30s. I think. So we might just put Frankie aside. Got to remember she is holding the lagging tail, which we may as well take off. Don't know who else we'd give it to. But... Did we? No, we didn't bother using any TMs on her. Okay. Good. How much money do we have? Do we need to go visit mom? 2k, yeah, we kind of do. We haven't withdrawn anything yet, so... Is that it? New Bark Town? Sounds familiar. It's been a long time. Oh, I'm out of tea. Sadness. Perfect! Everything's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> God damn DS. It's the old tech, you see. Prone to get dusty and overheat. <laughs> anyway. Wait, no, that was that was mom there. That's right. Seventeen K. We'll leave her a little bit. Go buy yourself something nice. to do shop. That critique should do it. Would have thought. We just need like normal potions and some supers. Maybe maybe some status stuff. I don't know. We might even have, thinking about it, uh, a revival or two to sell. Yeah, there we go. How much a rare candy's worth? Okay, well, we'll hold on to that for now. Um, they're just really nice all, all the time for topping off in between fights and stuff, so I'm not going to feel too bad about getting a ton of those. Um, Get a nice round number of these. There we go. Perfection. Hyper, we don't need to think about yet. Antidotes. If we're doing this, we may as well do it right. Are we even going to have enough money for all this? hope so. I don't know about Awakening. Let's be slightly more conservative. When are we ever going to get frozen? But that solves that little bit of 
minor OCD there. Full heals available already. Does that include confusion? I forget. Anyway, I uh, don't think we need to worry about repels. How was our ball situation? Okay, that'll do. For when we find something we really, really want. Like, I don't know, another magma maybe. <laughs> While Charizard just flies into view. So, hi! Start chasing after it. I thought in this gen you got um, the choices in the bikes where you get like a mountain bike or a BMX or something like that. I guess that's, that's later on. We'll just fly back to Mahogany. We'll finish getting Sean up to 30. Minimum. Last gym was highest level was like 32, right? It was Whitney's. What did she even have? What did she even have? She had two, she had two Magnemites and a Steelix or something, right? I think we're just going to level you up a little bit shortly. Uh, actually, no. We'll level up Sean because Sean will be useful. And Crosswave and Scarjo are already up there a fair amount anyway. We'll save Inferno for... Because we get the XP share soon, right? Right? I feel like someone told me it was after Lake of Rage. Why did I not get my bike out? Anyway. And then, yeah, Crossway evolves at 30 something as well, which will be cool. Tini's design isn't bad, but it certainly isn't threatening. Hey, do any of you know about PC headphones? And why are those headphones any good nowadays? Like, latency specifically, more than anything. Sound quality, like, I don't notice so much, but latency I notice immediately. And I rely on, like, immediate sound for a lot of things. Like, a lot of action games I'm listening for audio cues as much as visual. Well, I've been thinking about them. Half sentence. I'll let you continue. Until it becomes perfected. Well, here's the thing, like... I know for one, I've seen Shroud on one of the occasions I watched him. He was wearing wireless headphones, which I don't, he seems like the kind of guy who needs reliable, good quality sound. So it must be possible. I'm just wondering if... Because like, he's also the kind of guy, of course, who may well spend a £1,000 on a pair of headphones or $1,000, whatever. Right, and if that's the price you've got to pay for good ones, then obviously it's effectively not, not there yet. I don't know. Well, uh, what, what kind of problems do they still face? Well, yeah, but I was, I was just throwing out numbers, you know what I mean? I don't know how expensive headphones can get. I really don't. Like, these, these were probably like 30, 40 quid, maybe. Which I consider a fair amount for headphones. I don't know, actually, how much they were. Logitech something. I think it's in the panels. I don't know. Do that. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. 
It would be nice to save on the cable. It's always nice to cut the cable. But, I mean, there's a reason I'm still using wide keyboard and mouse. Bluetooth. I feel like Bluetooth, at least, still inherently has lag. But then I use Bluetooth controller. I don't notice lag there. But I guess maybe it's a less complicated signal for a controller. I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm no hardware guru. I feel like for the past hour, I've pretty much just been clicking Thundershock. It's fine, it doesn't feel like an hour, but still. Anyone hoping or expecting for anything nice on the 25th? There's a relevant question, I guess. Said with the utmost energy. But genuinely curious either way. What's what's on everybody's list to the magical fat man? Honestly, when you step away from it, the whole thing just seems entirely ridiculous. <laughs> but presents are fun. Can't argue that. I think my parents have been trying to get hold of some kind of hold of a replacement like chair for me, like for in front of the TV, so I can actually get comfy and properly. Um, failing that, though, I gave them a backup Amazon wish list with some Switch games in. Bayonetta 2 right at the top. Either way, I think I'm going to get that for myself soon into the next year. I need to stream that. Apparently it's much more refined, like, gameplay-wise, than, than the first one. I did enjoy Bayonetta 1, but I was never as into Bayonetta as DMC. Damn, you had to survive, didn't you? Just, just, just kill it. I mean, I haven't played it recently, but I still play it. I quite like at the moment that I can pretty much just pick it up and play either Astral Chain or Luigi's Mansion. Like, Astral Chain, I've got the missions, which are all, like, 15, 20 minutes, maybe, on average, so it's a nice, nice length of time, when it's just like, oh, I'll just play something real quick, for God's sake. Um, or in Luigi's Mansion, it's just hunting the booze, which I haven't started yet, but that's not going to be a particularly time-consuming task. And, of course, with Suspend as well, it's not a big deal. Do I risk it? Oh, let's use that. As much as anything though, and this is as predicted, the Switch is super useful for the nieces. And it's like, oh, being a nuisance, demanded energy and attention. It's like, here's a Switch, go, go play Mario Kart, bye. <laughs> it works a treat. But yeah, there are, there are still a few Switch games I want to pick up. Namely Bayonetta 2, and there's, I feel like there's bound to be more stuff coming out, but there's also, I feel like giving the whole Mario Maker thing a try. And I imagine it has an absolute shit ton of courses on there. That That's another thing that's going to be nice to just pick up and play for a bit, or stream for a bit. Possibly get very angry at sometimes. Because people make some ridiculously hard levels in that in those things. Um. Never broken three hundred headphones in five years. Wait, 
That, is, that can't be 300 sets of headphones. Do you mean like $300 worth of headphones or pounds or whatever or? I did break some headphones this year, but they were like this cheap 10 pound pair of um, Bluetooth ones. The sound quality was passable enough for walking around outside with. I'm not going to wear anything nice to walk around the streets. 300 headphones. How have you broken 300 headphones? How? Without trying. It's pretty impressive even with trying, actually. Also sounds like a very expensive hobby. Like, even the cheapest headphones are pretty expensive for what they are. Very rough asshole. Sounds painful. 60 headphones a year. That's two pairs a month. Wait, no. Idiot. It's not that. It's five pairs a month. Right? Right? Which is like over one a week. Crazy. Life gold sort silence your family from your ear holes. I mean, that, that becomes counterintuitive though when you break them. Because then your ear holes are unprotected again. Why not just get one, one pair of really solid sound can noise cancelling headphones and then just look after them? Was it worth it though? Was it? I mean, if you say it is, I'll take your word for it, but... I don't know. I, 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 I've never really broken much. I've never thrown a controller in a rage or anything like that. Um, who here has, out of curiosity? But... I, I, I don't know. I've launched things on occasion, but... I've always been restrained enough to grab something launchable without causing serious damage. Never? Yeah, I don't. Slammed a table or whatever, but I've never flipped one either, for instance. Um, I considered it for a joke, but chances never appeared uh, in a situation with a flippable table. Be nice to one day, just as a statement, for nothing in particular. Oh no, I, was, I thought it was Water Pulse, which is the one with the confusion chance. We're alright. Okay, what level do we get, Ampharos? We've got to be getting close, right? may as well at least aim to evolve Salad Fork and Sean. Um. Oh, you're off. Catch you later, dude. A lot of those were taken and thrown because you wasn't listening to them. Oh, okay. So it wasn't necessarily you destroying them. That still sounds, I don't know, pretty crazy. Very expensive still. Apologies. So yeah, I've been thinking over New Year's, um, pending any other clans appearing that sound actually inviting, but generally that doesn't happen anymore, I'm too old. <laughs> but yeah, probably going to end up streaming again like last year, and I'm considering getting drunk and in inflicting my awful singing by Twitch sings on everyone. Um, so if that sounds like an awful plan, feel free to give a better one. Uh, I think I'd have to get very drunk, but it is tempting, genuinely, at least for a little bit. 
I have jackbox shit as well, so. Got plenty to do there. Woot woot. Voice of an angel, mate. Voice of an angel. Uh, I used to do a fair amount of karaoke back in the day. Back in my late teens, down the pub. But, I mean, I was always drunk enough that I didn't care what I sounded like, and you can't really hear yourself properly in that situation anyway. Then were the days. Pub karaoke is great. You get to inflict your worst singing on just an entire room full of unwilling participants. In the eyes of an angel. That rings a bell. I couldn't name any other part of that song though. Or wasn't it in the arms? I don't know. I don't really use it, particularly pop music. I mean, his regular attack isn't that much lower than his special, so... We can use either, realistically. An American joke, fair play. Oh, never mind. Did I not just ask? I do like Amphros. It brings, it takes me back to my original gold team. It's very fitting, I guess. Amphros in a gold team, but yeah. Thunder Punch. I think I can live with that. We, we can... <sighs> 75, 100. 40, 100. Amphoros is rad. I, I do quite like it. It's not really like a knock a real, real like standout knockout design, but it is just really solid. I'm not even sure what animal it's meant to be representative of. Like most of them are based off some form of animal, right? Uh, I'd lean towards kangaroo, but the feet are too small. I don't know. I don't know. What, do, what do we take off? Do we just lose tackle? For now, I don't know. I kind of like having Thunder Wave there. But maybe it's outlived its usefulness. Or we could just lose Thunder Shot. Ah, oh, fuck it. Thunder Dragon. Oh, that's right. It's probably based off some dragon thing. Yeah, never really got that part of it. Alright, let's give Sean a single fight. It's like a victory lap. And then I guess we try and evolve Salad Fork. And hope we don't get like critical hit peck off a level 27 Sea King or some bullshit. Okay, well this is going to be a bit easy. Sorry, wrong place, wrong time. Punch! Salad Fork has like one more level, right? No, it wants to appear now. Cowards. Den Ryu. Well, Ryu is Dragon, I know that much, so... I guess Den is Thunder. Mm. 
Nearly at 32. Shit, didn't even notice it was level 24. Should still be fine, but... No, it does still die. That was the foe's evasiveness, which, whatever. Also lures wild Pokemon if used in grass. Is that going to be worth it? That's just that's just increasing the lure rate, right? It's not going to be worth taking up an entire slot on a main team member, surely. I don't think there's anything there I want to lose either. I think we're leaving it. We can always move Tutor it back later, right, if we need to. Yeah. Don't think we'll need to. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, I like Meganium. I do like Meganium. I mean, I like the entire Chikorita line, to be honest. Petal Dance, that's more like it. Wait, is that just a buff? Attacks by scattering petals for two to three turns. User then becomes confused. Wait, is this one that locks you in? I don't think I want that. Fight power 90. Locks me in, becomes confused. Both of those say no for me on Nuzlocke at least. Normally I'd be like, yeah, fine. Play it dangerous, but. What do you reckon, chat? Magical Leaf is 60. 55. Into a crystal one orchid, nice. Oh wait, you can get you can get a Chikorita in crystal. Oh wait, no, is it gold, silver, and crystal? It is, isn't it? Yeah, I think we're gonna leave Petal Dance. seed is anywhere from 20 to 50 which is just bad you turn this bug right yeah <laughs> yeah I never really have a frame of reference for the stat side of it wait anything interesting in here that I can Give to Meganium a curiosity. Mm. Mm. Don't really have anything overly interesting. Ghost seventy a hundred physical. Scarjo learns a lot. Can learn a lot. All right, well, crosswave, I guess? Scarjo's just gonna be a bad choice to level up right there, thanks to the ground typing. Uh, actually, we may as well go back in the cave. 
since we don't really have type advantage now. Do we even have... We still have Dragon Rage. Will it have, four... It'll have 40 HP, won't it? Let's find out. It did. Maybe 16 doesn't. cave better? Or is the grass better? I wonder. Lower well, level, although it could just be wide range again. Well, this is definitely... Oh, no. I thought that was Dragon Rage. I was going to say this is definitely dead, but not, not the Twister. Although flying it apparently works better on, I don't know. I'm sure someone said that. Like someone in game said that. What else? What else is in here? Lots of zoo bats. All right, screw that. Check the grass outside, I can't remember what was there. It may well be that the Goldines are the best plan. We're actually thinking about it. Maybe going back to the tentacles. But the Mantines is in fact the best plan. Anyone? Got any ideas where the best place to go and do a bit of grinding is for Crosswave? And... Scarjo, okay. Mind blank there. Let's see what's here. Right. Mareep's probably... Scarjo would be alright here. Crosswave would be alright all right as well, of course, but I guess the water probably is the better option. No idea? Fair enough. Let's at least do Scarjo here. Although no ground move, I don't think. Ooh. Mankey was here. How's, um... Poison against fighting? Nothing. I guess we just do that. You get pumped up all you want. Mm, not bad. We're certainly safer in this instance. Right, specifically for ScarJo. Can't be facing Goldings and Sea Kings, right? Psychic. I have no ground currently. It's one of the things I'd quite like for her. Nice ground move. It's 
do it. Unnecessary focus blast. Oh, of course it is. Do it again. Yeah. Like, what even is that animation? Like, the effect looks cool, but I have no idea what it's meant to represent. I need to make another Pokemon Coliseum game. And actually animate it properly. Probably never going to happen. I imagine nobody's going to see the actual, like, action-y Pokemon fights, like, anime style. Not, not in a video game. Not in my lifetime. I don't see it. I just don't see... Don't see him doing it. It's very rude. Poweens TV? Pow Poweens? Not sure how to pronounce that. Thank you for the follow either way though. Even if I did probably butcher that. Focus Blast. Do what Focus Blast? Scarjo has Focus Blast. Just like this. Pew! That's pretty much how Focus Blast does, yeah. Pew! God damn it. Um, this move does have one minor floor. It is, of course, very strong, though. And it crits as well, just for fun. Sure. Hmm. I wonder... Go try on the way to the safari zone, see if they're high level there. Because that's only recently unlocked, right? And I feel like... Because we caught them a choke there at 22, didn't we? We caught Frankie. Oh! As in, what does it look like? Yeah. I like to think it's like Marvel's Iron Fist Key Punch. Maybe, could be. I, I, I was more remarking about the fact that so many, so many Pokemon attacks just, just look like a spinning circle and some flashing lights. Um. And even with the latest ones, they're still not. I don't know. They're better. They serve their purpose. Don't get me wrong. And the sure weren't going to animate sprites actually running up and punching or kicking or doing all this other stuff. And what we're looking at here is about the extent of Pokemon animation, really. Let's go in. That way. Yeah, I, 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 I didn't love. Iron Fist, but I didn't hate it either. I know a lot of people shat all over it, but it seemed alright. I watched it all. Ooh. 
Well, that's not good for a ground type. Didn't think this through. I mean, we have the obvious choice. Wow, all right. Rude. Anime says it's an energy ball cube. See? It's weird. Wait, why is it poisoned? Oh, from... Yeah, never mind. Do it. Yeah, so how's that even fighting? I don't know. Weird. Ooh, good XP though. But I had to swap out so it defeats the purpose somewhat. What do you want? Come up with the next test. Alright, well, we, we can do that in a bit. We're already here. Oh, hey! I see that. Sneaky item. Of course, it's full of flying types. Let's not risk it. Let's not risk it. What's the odds on this also known pursuit? Yep, well done. Do like that ability. As long as I'm the one with it. Of course. Uh, Thunder Punch. Charge potentially not worth keeping around. Usually may as well just attack twice, right? It's the worst when you charge and then miss. Tasty nuggets. Maybe if I go back to the cave? Yeah, this is just all flying. Although, grass as well. It's pretty bad, damage wise. Poison, there we go, okay. That's something. Feck's sake. Hey, I guess I deserve that. Yeah, yours hurts. Alright. to the center and cure that paralysis more than anything. Of course. Should have switched over before moving anywhere. Alright. Uh, yeah. Come back out, Sean. Not going to hurt to get our Gyarados killer up a bit, a bit more in the levels. The pre-release material of the Japanese versions of Diamond and Pearl, Focus Blast, had a different animation. So spreading when it touched the opponent and disintegrated. Also rather than like a... So, bleh. Weird. I don't know why they'd change it. At all. Like, surely that's just unnecessary effort for the zero gain, but... It's their choice, I guess. Their choice. Oh, wait. Pre-release material? No, still, I don't get why you... I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't really matter, I guess, but you think you'd just try and be consistent with it. Hmm. Switch you. Oh, sure, but anime can still be consistent. 
sometimes. I'm on level 25 far fetched. It's gonna be good cross wave. Sword stab's pretty good. That was pretty bad. Clicked the wrong move again. Wait. What happened? I don't have the energy for this shit. We not just pretend we didn't see that. What even was it? Was it just slash? It was the sword stance, wasn't it? to be like a Nuzlocke stream. This is just, I'm tired and I feel like grinding Pokemon right now. Come on. I don't have the energy to start again. I don't, I don't. For real though, what, what was it just a slash? Because Jesus Christ, that was ridiculous. Well, that's handy. We good, we good, okay. I can't, I can't. <laughs> what is its defense though? Ooh. Yeah, that's not great. Although it's only level 24, but still. Now, admittedly, that's fully evolved. What's a more fair comparison? No one, that's just garbage. Okay. Do we even want to leave you there? Honestly, don't know as I do. swap you out, it's fine. Oh, I wanted some XP. Where is... All the way back here? Is this it? This is just the room I was looking for. Okay, level 90 mature. Damn it. I think we're okay unless we see something like a focus energy or a sword stance. Anything like that. Audio errors? As in game or mic or? It's weird if so that it'd suddenly start. When? 
I didn't even... I think we can live with that. When it came in... Just did. Did now, either way. I'm very nervous there's no self-destruct. Taking zero risk. Actually, I could have thrown Coraline in, couldn't I? Although, ground versus rock. Get bodied. versus steel. Fighting by ground. Wait, am I setting myself up to trouble here? I think we're okay. Focus Blaster. How does something something like a Steelix even sneak up on you? Good thing I changed, I guess, because that now won't hurt me. Yeah, there we go. Let's try it. It, at least. Well, I guess then, by the anime rules, at least, that is an accurate representation. Ooh. Probably don't try that again, though. Probably just Shadow Ball. Let's hope it does enough. Should do. Probably doesn't have great special. Oh, for fuck's sake. Just realized both those moves lower special defense. It's convenient. I was tempted to try Poison Sting, but it probably has like 2 HP left, and Poison Sting would do 1. Because why not? You just see it happening. Alright, it's evolved, so it should be better HP, right? Not overly worried about a clog sire. You like Nido Mom. I like Nido Mom. I mean Nido Nido Dad's cool, but Nido Mom's alright. Is 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 Dad more of a physical attacker, I'd assume, if I had to guess. can just get to evolution we should get a nice stats boost and be significantly safer also being higher level will help of course but agility that's just stat boost right no we don't need that Wild Spearow. Great. Good for you. I haven't been paying attention to the actual numbers we're getting here for XP as well. Probably should. Seems like a good cave though. At least getting more variety as well. Not gonna lie, the Goldeans were getting very boring, but then so is Confuse Ray. Through your confused mate, move with a hundred accuracy. Shed skin, no. All right. It's not even. 
But shall I just tag out? Yeah, alright, it might do actual damage at some point. Uh, Coralie. Not a huge fan of Golbat or Zubat. Crobat's pretty cool, though. Golbat is just a little bit too goofy. Blast it. Out of the sky. Of course. Quick claw. Give us three. Finish it. Yeah, there we go. I'm not looking for someone to ruin the surprise with this, but I still don't actually know if uh, Coraline evolves. Is it an evolution? You can tell me that. Is it an evolution from something else? Is she? She's not, okay. Kill it. It's just Corsola. I forgot what the actual Pokemon was. to a of Krabby. Potion of Potion. Can we two shot with Slam? What if we miss? Oh, it doesn't evolve. Okay. Seems alright, but I don't know how long it'll hang. Thunder shock. You're dead. Comes ghost, interesting. Water rock to ghost. Wonder if that's meant to be some commentary on the coral reef. Probably not. Probably reading too much into it there. Got again to heal. Well, if nothing else, Coraline is at least high level, so she'll be hanging around for that alone. Sword off. Oh, it actually is a commentary on that. Really? Go Game Freak. I don't want no politics in my in my Pokemon gamer. Dead coral turns white, it does indeed. Like, regardless of the environmental impact of it, the coral reef's a beautiful thing. Coral generally is just pretty. It's a shame to uh, just destroy it. Alright, we're switching out again. Oh wow. Yeah. Cool design. I hope they realise that the coral reef is around Australia and not the UK. Which is where I thought Sword and Shield was meant to be set. But... Have they done Pokemon Australia yet? They should. And just make it so every Pokemon is trying to actively kill you. Just like Australia and its wildlife. Which way is fastest? Hooper! We do we must be able to kill a Wooper, surely. God 
damn it, just, just die. Try and decide if we surf again. <sighs> Pokemon, yeah, and Pokemon, nah. Straya. Oh, that, that'd be so good, too. Guys put some effort into that. In before, in before Pokemon just rips off those designs and the entire Australia thing. Mm. Like we can get round their defense with just dragon raging all over the place. I feel like these were giving better XP, generally. The Mantines and the Tentacruels in particular. There we go. You reckon it has 40? We'll find out. Even I'd say, I had to guess. 70 maybe? A lot. Yeah, that's, that's good XP. That's going to get us where we need to be faster. And again, we're also right next to a Pokemon Center. Can't be uh, overstated how helpful that is when grinding. Underway first. I wonder if our slam actually is strong enough. Let's not find out this turn. Crit, but still. There's your teriyaki sauce. I don't know as I've ever tried teriyaki, to be honest. I see it's served with a lot of a lot of seafood. Um, sushi, maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Either way, I don't really eat seafood. Um, Is that a different kind of sauce? Doesn't even ring a bell, that one. I'm not, I'm not big into spicy foods, generally, as well. Um, 
I, I can eat them, but I just don't find it an enjoyable experience when my mouth is like on fire. And a little bit of spice is nice, but it's very, very easily overdone. Sam's physical at least, points a fair amount. Not. Either way, just generally, just the same. Talk about food, think about it. Yeah, not a fan of spicy stuff. What's hibachi then? Makes me nervous. I'd rather not tag him out. You want all that XP. One cross wave. Beautiful. Let's try it. Curious. It's pretty good. Not half though. Baby Rage. Go, go. Six hundred odd? Five fifty. Yeah. We're pretty happy if we can get cross leveled up today, uh, evolved. I'll call that a win. Teriyaki sauce is a light thin glaze made of soy sauce sake. I like both of those two already. Don't, not sure what mirin is. Sugar, optional spices. Only difference is the sauce. Hibachi dishes cooked only in soy sauce. Right, so hibachi is a kind of dish then rather than a sauce necessarily. Okay. Because yeah, obviously I've seen like teriyaki chicken skewers and stuff as like party snacks. Maybe I have tried it? I don't know. I don't remember either way. Because presumably hibachi sauce would just be soy sauce, right? Probably would like teriyaki then by the sounds of it anyway if it's mainly soy sauce with like sugar and stuff. So I like soy sauce, I like sake. Well sake's alright. I wouldn't say I'd like actively go out and seek it, but sometimes when you feel like weaving it up, um you gotta have some sake when you go out for your ramen, right? Ginger and stuff. See gin a lot some ginger based things can be um Surprisingly spicy as well. Knew it. You know what? No, we just. Uh, yeah. Let's just heal for now. For God's sake. Alright, not a crit. Are you for real? that like one over four to the power four i was never good at odds i don't gamble much either so never much need to
Gonna be quite enough to kill again, though, is it? Yeah, that's not helpful. <laughs> Tokyo Express. That rings a bell. It's Tokyo Express. Is that a brand? Are you in the States? It rings a bell. It rings a bell. <sighs> Suddenly gone chilly. Oh, yeah. You are in the States. That's probably why then. Yeah, maybe I've seen it over there. seen a Publix. It's also doesn't let me into the main site because it automatically detects that I'm not in the US. It's like, you have no business here. It's quite funny. doesn't want to show me that. As far as swimmers go, and it is very useful to take a water type with us at all times for Sarah. Uh, just so we don't have to go back and fetch him. It pops up often enough. Also, water type generally pretty useful. But, oh, actually, wait. We could teach Surf to cross wave. We don't necessarily need one. Corsola does cover water rock, though. Uh, slam do half on this guy. It misses. Great. Are you serious? Okay, tentacles don't necessarily need dragon raging. Don't be slower than it. Damn it! Oh, that's fine. What state are you in then? I've been, cra I've been craving American burgers recently. Um, someone in the Discord has been visiting the West Coast and they tried in and out and sent picture. And I love in and out It's not the best burger I've had over there, but it's readily available. It's so much better than Mackey's. McDonald's is just trashed here. We get five guys over here now, but I don't know. It's a really excite me as much. Yeah, whenever you get a burger in this country, it's just it's just not the same. Um, let's Thunder Wave. And pray to the Elder Gods that we survive this encounter. Double Dragon Rage, let's not risk it. If you can be fully paralyzed as well, I would appreciate it. Ooh. Or do Toxic Spikes, either are fine. This should be a big old wedge. 700 maybe? 800 if I'm dreaming? Probably not. 
could wedge though either way. Oh, not even eight. Yeah. Good enough though. Can I justify a few hundred quid on an 11 hour flight each way to get cheeseburgers? I've already started trying to mentally justify, it's probably gonna happen. To be fair, it's not like I've gone on holiday much over the last decade. Tempting, tempting. Welcome back on your mom's account, eh? How's it going? Get angry, Crosswave. I forgot I don't need to crack and rage them. How's your Sunday going, though? Playing more Pokemon? I should just start assuming everyone that comes in while I'm streaming Pokemon is playing. I might go back to the Goldeen soon. I'm getting tired of Tentacles again. Well, less so Tentacruel, more so Tentacruel. Let's try that. I'm indeed the dude that's awful at geography. <laughs> we know this. This is a known factor. Getting out. We're getting out. Outies! Nah, I'm alright. Can't be good at everything. I've pretty much given up at that. Google Maps is readily available nowadays. Whenever it's anything important where I actually need to know where things are, I can look it up. It's just not my area of specialty. My area of expertise, even. Apparently, English isn't either. Kill it, please. Thank you. Sean, good work. I'm curious how you plan on teaching me geography, though. I've got to say. Multiple trained professionals over my school life tried. I could probably name about six counties in the entire of the UK. I should at least learn where things are in my own country, you'd think, but I've never been particularly nationalistic either. Also not much of a Roma. Sharkers, what, am I doing it now or will I be doing it? Because I'm not currently. Um, it depends what you mean by post-game. Because I know after the Elite Four you go and do Kanto, right? So I'll do that. I don't... Again, depends if, if that's what you mean. I don't know if there's more stuff after you've done Kanto and Elite Four Round 2. Uh, slam? Thunderwave. Thunderwave. English shouldn't be your specialty, but you're better at English than your native language. Iceland, right? It was Iceland. My memory's also not a specialty. Ah, there we go. Or I don't give myself enough credit. It's interesting because I can actually, if I click on your name here in my copy of the chat, then I can, I get this little thing which tells me details, like when you followed, how many messages. I also get a mod comments thing. So I can just sit here and type in Iceland, and then I can add it, thinking I'm being smart, and I'm like, that's a note to me, so I remember. And then I'll never check it again, so it's irrelevant. <laughs> Icelandic isn't an easy language. I can imagine so. I, I'm not great at languages either. Um, I mean, I, 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 I wasn't awful, actually. Um, I did 
French and German up till year nine, and then two extra years of just German. But I don't know, I never quite felt comfortable. I should have stuck with French. Um, I was better at it at the time. I'm worse at it now. German always seemed like it was a bit closer to English, so I was like, I'll pick that, it seems easier. Longest word is... Vala per grin. Perfect. Nailed it. Could you even tell I'm not a native speaker? Iceland does always seem like a, a, a pretty country, the countryside at least. I did try. You gotta give me you gotta give me points for effort, right? I hit most of the syllables as they would be pronounced by a native English speaker. Mountain Road Constitution. Is it Iceland, or it might be Greenland, actually, where I think I saw these um, igloo hotels, um, where you can you basically get a giant room that's that's submerged into the ground with a glass dome overhead, so you can watch the northern lights. Which, unfortunately, for people attending, um, don't always turn up as often as some people would like. So it's always very much potluck, I'd imagine. But it looked like a cool thing to do. More of a romantic thing with your partner, but I don't know. If I had all the money in the world, I'd probably just go and do it on my own. Puet le jot. Good vild min puet le jota. I really English that up. <laughs> no attempt to make it sound Icelandic. <laughs> it's good, right? Somehow worse. <laughs> That's about right. That teach me, teach me to. I mean, I did English it up, and by, by which I mean the English thing of just just saying it louder and more ridiculously. Zero attempt for any accuracy. Pure got. Gouvil bin pure jota. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Let me know if I got a single word of that even close. It all sounded like moon speak to me. This will take you three and a half hours to pronounce correctly. Isoleucine. Isoleucine. One of those. Should have dragon raged. I mean, you told me that yesterday, Mom's account. It's fine. Moon speak. Oh shit. Okay, well, well, just calm down, will you? Oh, I can't run away because of rap. That's right. Too busy rapping. So, suck pot. That's fine. My, my self-worth is not based around an external locus. Uh, helps a lot with streaming. Although, honestly, people have been pretty much fine coming around. I haven't really faced a whole lot of serious trolling. The majority of the trolling I have received has come from, like, mods and subs. Uh, seems to be pretty st standard stream affair, really. Mods are basically there to give you abuse. Getting there. What level does Crosswave evolve? Anybody? Might not be today at this rate. Probably call it soonish.
completely forgot then. I was like, oh, Crosswave is a bit higher level now, so it almost killed before, so it should kill now, thanks to the stat boost, right? Completely forgetting how Dragon Rage functions. Genius. So smart. I am so smart. SMRT. I didn't even want to get off that. Tidler setting in. For real reals. Oh dear. Super suppressed yawn. Impressive single solitary tear from it. Right. Slam. That's it. Stupid is as stupid does. I've, I've had this discussion with somebody at work. Um, same with intelligence, obviously, being the inverse. It's... There's so many different types of intelligence. Like, the most easy to, to judge and whatever is obviously, like, classic intellectual book learning. But physical intelligence is very much a thing, as is social and or emotional intelligence. Um, most people are good at something. This guy, well, I like to take the mix. He does have to come out with some really stupid shit sometimes. He's like, you must think I'm re real stupid, don't you? And I'm like, may maybe like academically, yes, but... There's so many ways that you, that you measure these things, and even then, like, most forms of measuring intelligence are mostly nonsense. Like, even IQ tests, uh, it doesn't really mean anything. Um, you are, have the stupid virus. <laughs> Is that like Pokerus? Can you imagine if stupid was a virus? I oftentimes wonder if it is, and it's already spread worldwide. I always find um, either extreme of, of uh, intelligence to be an interesting, interesting study point. Because at one end, you get people that are, are hyper intelligent and super competent. And they reach the point where they often lack the ability to understand or empathize with how somebody couldn't, could just fail to understand something uh, or be able to do something. Then at the other end, you often find when people get reach a certain level of stupid, um, they're so stupid, they actually think they're smart. I don't know if you've ever encountered these people. Again, I work with one of these. Uh, she's hilarious. Um, in a laugh at kind of way, unfortunately. She is very dense, but she thinks she's smarter than all of us. This is odd. If it is, then you are terminally diagnosed with it. Stupid virus comes with the sexy gene. Ah. So what you're saying is your mum is sexy? That's what I'm getting from that killing. <laughs> flat earthers. Flat earthers. Anti-vaxxers. Any of these. Yeah, take your pick. Take your pick. The Flat Earth one is extra funny because, like, the whole thing of, oh, Christopher Columbus stumbled across America because they thought the Earth was flat and they didn't realize, or whatever, I don't know. It's a long, long time since anyone thought the Earth was flat. That's just, no. They didn't stumble across it, like, a few hundred years ago. It's like, no, this, this is just widely known. I don't. We live in a world where people are apparently easily convinced that they need something without actually understanding what that something is. Um, there always seems to be some buzzword, particularly in the world of health foods. You get all your probiotics and your anti-thetans and your... I don't know. 
loaded with taurine. What, you actually spoke to Flat Earthers? Real life or the internet? One said that because you can't see gravity, it is therefore fake. Uh, sure. Yeah. I mean, I'd certainly question gravity's existence. I'm always floating off my chair. It's a real pain. Oh, Discord. Yeah, I just, I don't know. People, if people want to be morons, let them be morons. Just... Can't they just have their own separate piece of land? Or even just send them to the moon? They probably don't believe anyone's ever been to the moon, so this will blow their minds. But just send them all to the moon. And then added bonus, because it's much smaller, you can walk around the moon a lot faster. And you can see the Earth rotate and therefore see it is indeed round. It would solve a lot of this and then have them be like, oh, and now we're just stuck on the moon like idiots. Eating that moon cheese. The moon is, is made of cheese, that is also a fact. Less wild, widely known. Moon cheese. Killing faster, which is a thing. I know crosswave evolves at 30 something, but I can't remember 30 what exactly. Sharkers, you never told me if I pronounced that word properly. I'm curious. Something space, really? Alright, sure, why not? You can't have them use up all the moon's air, true. Oh, you can't pronounce it yourself either. Well, that's cheating. For all you know, I did pronounce it properly. I'm going to say I did. If anyone else pronounces it differently, they're wrong. All of the planets are all just lights in the sky. What, did somebody put up there? Novel theory. More interesting since planets don't give off light. But yeah. Yeah, I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one. Babadook. What's Babadook? We slam it. Can we just saying silly words now? Because I'm on board, but just, just like to be clear. Ba -bum. Horror movie? Oh, okay. I don't really do much in the way of horror movies. Uh, yeah, outside your physical attack, you're really not great, Crosswave. Fear of long words is ironic. I think I've seen this one, actually, yeah. Hip -hop, hippopoto monstrosesquipedaliophobia. Yeah, that's, that's, it's like, um, what's the, is it, I'm trying to remember, is it the speech impediment where people pronounce the R's as W's, what's that called? Because um, hasn't that, isn't that, hasn't that also got a load of R's in? Oh, actually, I should have done the other move. Brought up how governments are shady, but hiding the shape of Earth isn't one of them, and how he was accused of being a government agent. Should have just been like, yeah, knock knock, FBI open up, motherfuckers. Does slam do over half? Oh, I guess we are ten levels over. Yeah, Babadook is a fun word to say. I'll give you that, I'll give you that. Babaganoosh. I don't know where I've heard that, but... Cut it out. Just die. Please. Thank you. Come on. I'd like to at least reach level 30 for Crosswave. And then who's... We still have ScarJo. And... I guess we start leveling Eevee at some point. No, we're waiting for the XP share for that, aren't we? I hope they aren't going to visit Iceland anytime soon, or at least read Icelandic town names. What, people with fears of long words? I mean, there's, there's quite a
quite a lot of Welsh names are quite long too. Um, speaking of foreign languages, would anyone care to hear my favourite Welsh word? All right? That's the only Welsh word I know. It is pop -de ping Let me know if anyone can work out what that is. pop -de ping Got him by the tentacles. I do indeed. I do indeed. I'm going to carve them up, sell them as sushi. Got town names like Svalbard Standard Rapper. I don't know. This is based off a limited amount of listening to Norse stuff in mainly games with Norse mythology. Like God of War. Stuff like that. A lot of Norse mythology is quite interesting. Yeah. I quite like mythology in general. Um, the old classics with, with their pantheons way more interesting than your Christianities and whatever. One god, where's the fun in that? I'm not even going around throwing lightning bolts and shit. Harold in Kuro means heart beating. Title of a song. Okay. Well, Pop de Ping is uh, Welsh for microwave. Because Pop de Ping. I don't know. Microwaves go ping. I don't know about the Pop de. Welsh like putting popcorn in it? I don't know. stuck with me over the years. Too much watching QI. I do love that show. Don't really watch it anymore. Still follow the Twitter account though. Just random quite interesting facts. Good account. Level 25 Tentacruel takes more than two. More than two Dragon Rages. Gotta remember that. Well, don't gotta. It's Twister. Heart beating. Doesn't ring a bell. Pay attention to Welsh music. I couldn't name a single Welsh... Uh, no, I think I could name one Welsh band and they will not get played anymore because one of them was touching kids. <laughs> and that's the kind of thing that immediately gets you off the radio. Permanently. I'm sure they were Welsh. Anyway. Kind of sucks in that situation because like probably like five, six people in the band and only one's bad, but now like, yeah. No one's going to be wanting to play that music and make them any money now. Certainly not hire them to play it for form. Love Celtic stuff over there since a lot of Icelandic people have Celtic roots in their blood. Yeah, coming over and stealing the British and Celtic women. Taking them back. Give us our women back! I don't know. Might be a thing, might not. I honestly don't. Where did the Celts come from, that area? I don't. I don't know. I don't think the cups on these are like quite big enough. Stop surviving on one HP, will you? Oh, I was right. Okay. When I said it, I was like, this sounds like a thing, but I could have just pulled it out of my ass. I know there was obviously a lot of raiding going on uh, along the coasts back in the day. Yeah, that's Thunderwave. Kind 
kind of nervous about how much damage that did. It is a stab, I guess, but still. Debating whether or not to watch the Pokemon anime. As in, the old one or the new one? Now the whole of the UK, Wales has the best flag. Which is the Welsh? Isn't it just the white part with the red cross? Isn't that the Welsh part? Oh, no, that's right. Yeah, of course. It's the dragon. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> yeah, you can't go wrong by throwing a dragon on something. Yeah. I should know. The, I should really know my own country's flags, right? Gonna watch it in order. Oh, that's a lot to watch then, surely. Uh, not as long as if you start in something like One Piece, I imagine, but still. Looking at what? A solid 20 plus years of anime? Actually, that may be longer than One Piece? I don't know. Which is longer? Pokemon or One Piece? I'm from England, how can I not know? Because I'm not particularly nationalistic and they don't study flags. This is information that came up in like primary school and never again. If I saw them, I'd be able to recognise which is which. Um, like, Scotland is the white and blue cross. And yet, obviously, if I wasn't so tired, I would have remembered that England is the red and white. Yeah, I, could, I couldn't remember why. Well, actually, saying that, I can't remember Northern Ireland either, right off the top of my head. I know they're like Irish flag, but does Northern Ireland have a flag? I don't know. Sea tank? What? Mantine? Is that what you're saying, Killen? Uh, I haven't tried Sword and Shield, no. Um, I'm not in a huge rush to play it casually. If I play it at all, it'll probably eventually be in a Nuzlocke, to be honest. Um, and if we're going generation by generation, that's going to be a while. At which point, I'll hopefully be able to get it significantly cheaper than... 60 quid as well, which I assume it is. England is so bad, England hates it. Oh, really? Oh, the lion does have a flag. Okay. Is it like the Irish flag, like the mainland Irish flag, but upside down or some shit? Back to front. You played Sword and Shield Sharkers? Ah, oh, yeah, the St. Paddy Saltire, right? Green and green and white, right? Yeah, yeah. Red and white? Why do I think. Oh, no, green. Yeah, never mind. Green, white, and orange is mainland island. Never will, since you don't have a Switch. Been itching to play a Nuzlocke on it. I mean... After Christmas is a good time to pick up a second-hand old gen hardware. Probably not many people upgrading to the purely handheld one, but saying that before Christmas can also be a good time when people are selling off unwanted, unused old hardware to make money for Christmas. I got my PS4 in like November a couple of years ago. Someone needed some Christmas money. I need a PS4. An exchange was made. Colorblind? No. Just very tired and bad at flags. I count that as geography. I don't know. 30. Okay. I hope I'm not colorblind. <gasps> Perfect! It's 30 on the dot. Okay. Want an Xbox One. Your state of decay. I know nothing about that game. There's like nothing on the Xbox that makes me want to buy one. Because 
all of their exclusives are on PC anyway, and even then I don't really want to play them. The balls get at 55. Yeah, I remember someone saying 50 something. Um, so we're going to be Dragon Air for a while. But we are indeed super fancy now. Look at this shit. Hang on. Dragonite pseudo legendary. I don't know. I mean. In the lore? Oh, it is. Okay, interesting. Pretty Noodle should be a name. It wouldn't fit, though, sadly. Do like. Dragon Dragonair is, like, the best stage. I'm not a huge Dragonite fan. But this is cool. Well, yeah, but pseudo literally means fake, but like when, when you use it, that's not really the implication. It's like almost, but not quite. Um, trying to think of an example, but again, I'm too tired. Shut up, doggo. ramen and noodles generally what am i grinding for um well primarily to be honest because somebody made me nervous that the uh, rival uh, is coming up soon and we've almost we, we've gotten rocked pretty hard at the last two gym encounters to where we've lost like three or four pokemon per encounter so I just want to get everyone involved up to a decent level and able to hold their own. If we can get Scarjo up to 30 tomorrow, then I'll be pretty happy. Because um, then we'll go do Lake of Rage. I'll be able to get the XP share, all of that goodness. I'll be able to level up Eevee at that point um, quite comfortably. So that's the plan. That's the plan. Your knowledge of England doesn't go far. All you know is Brexit, tea drinkers, crumpets and saluting the Queen. I think most of the UK doesn't really give a shit about the Queen anymore. That's more for foreigners, to be honest. Um, I don't know. I, I've kind of felt for a long time that the, the royal family should just be done with. If they can support themselves, so be it, but remove any kind of state integration. Um, I'm stopping just short of saying let's pull out the French guillotines. <laughs> the Queen's pretty badass, yeah. But then she has a large extended family that like to hand, hang around with paedophiles, so um, there is that. Dexit thing about Sword Shield fitted quite perfect. I mean, I just kind of got sick. It didn't help that I was already sick of hearing the word Brexit, so when Dexit started being a thing, I was like, I just can't give a fuck about this. Pseudo Legendary is a poke that's not legendary, that has base stat total of exactly 600. Oh, okay. So there is, there is a technical term in the Pokemon. Pokemon Sphere for it then. Does Dragonite fit that? Um, yeah, the, the Queen herself is pretty badass. That's for sure. Okay. Touch card to flip. Wait. <gasps> oh, okay. Your, your multiplayer stats. Yeah, that's not going to affect us. What's score though? 2403. What's the score? Uh, in world history books, Brit Britain is seen as a country that you wouldn't mess with. Yeah, once upon a time. Less so nowadays. That being said, I'd like to think we're past the point where we need to go starting wars all the time, but world leaders seem to disagree. Um, I'm going to call it here, guys. If nothing else, I'm knackered and we're starting to veer towards politics, which I quite enjoy talking about, but it is one of those subjects that's just immediately polarizing. A lot of people don't even want to hear about it, um, never mind actually like discussing it in a civil way. 
Um, not to say we don't do it sometimes, but I'm too tired to do it now. So thank you one and all for hanging out. It has been a pleasure. Um, I wonder. Oh, yeah, of course, it's right here. What am I doing? Uh, that. Yeah, we should be back tomorrow. Uh, should be back on early afternoon most of the week, depending on how busy the day is and how knackered I am, quite frankly. Um, but yeah, I'm going to send some love towards Nordograph. I think I spelled that right. Let's double check that. He's currently playing some Path of Exile, but generally chill guy. Uh, Brazilian. Someone in here is Brazilian? Or maybe they're not here at the moment. Someone who's been watching Pokemon is from Brazil. Anyway, super cool dude. Um, really chill place to hang. So go show him some love. He'll appreciate it. And I appreciate you guys for hanging out. Until the next time, have a good one.